Now, for allergy patients, carrying adrenaline pens at all times is vital. It could be what saves their life. But for a while now, there's been a worldwide shortage of these type of injectors. And one company has been forced to withdraw their pens because of a fault. Alpa Patel reports on the anxiety it's causing for some parents. Brothers Will and Freddie have severe food allergies and have experienced anaphylaxis in the past. Their condition is a constant source of worry for their mother, Sarah. They can react to less than a gram of milk and or egg. You always, always, always carry your medication with you and it will save their life if you need it to. And I've seen it save their life and it's just totally crucial to have it with you. Official advice for people with severe allergies is to always have access to two adrenaline pens. And so each boy has two pens at home and two at school. But recently, Sarah found out that the type of pen her sons use, an Emirate pen, have been recalled due to a small number malfunctioning. I think it's really scary. I think if the Emirates pens are misfiring and there's a chance it can't go off, then you need to make sure that you've got the right medication with you. It is a lifeline. This is a life-threatening condition. And if you don't have this backup, mistakes can happen. If you have an allergy, you will be prescribed one of these three pens. There's no major difference between them, but the recall of Emirates couldn't have come at a worse time. And that's because there's a worldwide shortage of the most common type of adrenaline pen, the EpiPen, and that puts pressure on limited supplies. Leading allergy specialist Dr. Adam Fox says the situation is tricky. But providing people plan ahead, they shouldn't be left without being able to get their medication. The devices are on what's called a prescription validation system, which means that after the prescription goes in, there has to be communication between the pharmacist and the distributor of the product. Now, of course, in some places that will happen quite quickly, but in others, you can't be sure that it will do. So the key message is don't wait till the last minute. Allow a good week or two before the expiry of your devices. If for any reason your devices have gone out of date and you don't have replacements, then have a look at the window in the side of the device because if the liquid is still clear, you can still use that. And I would much rather that patients had devices that were ever so slightly out of date but use them rather than not have a device at all. Sarah says sourcing the number of pens she needs is a constant battle. As a mum with children with allergies, all I want is a working auto injector pen. I don't care what brand it is. I don't care. I, I want two that definitely will work because there may be a point where I need them to save my children's life. Alpa Battelle, BBC London. Well, to some of